Joining us now is Representative Gregory Meeks, the top Democrat on the House Foreign Affairs Committee. Congressman Meeks, thank you so much for your time. Uh, as you know, there are calls for an immediate vote in the House as early as tonight even to take up the $95 billion package passed by the Senate in February, which would provide aid to Israel and Ukraine. Do you expect Speaker Johnson to put it on the floor? I would hope so. That would be the appropriate thing to do. We, I wish we'd have done it long ago. Uh, we need to have the bill that was passed by the Senate. If that's on the floor today, I think it will pass with over 300 votes. We'll be able to get that bill to the president's desk immediately. And we'll be able then to give the aid that's needed for Israel, for Ukraine, for Taiwan, and for humanitarian aid immediately to all the sources so that they have what they need to defend themselves and that we can help prevent a famine in Gaza uh, as well as other parts of the world. Israel has said that it is going to respond to Iran. Uh, obviously, the White House has said that they would not support that. Do you feel that the United States should still support Israel with funding if they're going to perhaps uh, go against the, the recommendations given from the United States? The United States has said we will defend Israel. The president of the United States has said we will defend Israel. Uh, he said, and I say, and I agree with him, uh, we would allow nothing to happen with reference to the destruction of Israel. We know that Iran and others and their proxies, what they are about is the destruction of Israel. The United States is ironclad with reference to their protection of Israel and Israel's right to defend itself. More recently, we saw the protest vote movement during the primaries over President Biden's handling of the Israel-Hamas war. That raises questions about whether a small but significant number of Democrats might abandon him in November. Your thoughts on that? I say thank God that Joe Biden is the president of the United States. And I think that all those that were questioning that in regards to his handling of the Middle East should relook at the situation uh, as it is today. Heaven help us if Donald Trump was the president, because we have no idea what he would do. Here you have, you have Donald Trump, who is, we don't know what he is, but we have Joe Biden, who knows diplomacy. He's bringing people together. The first thing he's done is bring the G7 nations together to talk about dealing with Iran in a capacity collectively, uh, just as he's doing in Europe with NATO, just as he's doing in the Indo-Pacific, with Japan and Australia, the Philippines, uh, South Korea. Uh, we're all working, collecting together, bringing folks together and being the leader of democracies around the world. And just a last question, because I have been hearing from people that they are concerned, uh, potentially, that we could be on the brink of, of World War III. And, and many are saying that that ball is in Israel's court if they do respond, which Israel has said that it would respond. So I, I guess what I'm just saying, even though you say that, that we have said that we stand with Israel, do you write them a blank check, even if it does potentially uh, get other countries involved in a, in a larger escalation? I think Israel has to be very thoughtful and deliberate about anything that they consider on doing. I think that what we are working to do, and they have to, we have to make sure that we contain and then de-escalate the situation between uh, Iran, Israel, and Iran's uh, uh, affiliates. So we can do that. That you know, diplomacy is hard. You don't get rid of diplomacy. Diplomacy is something that you continue to work at, and there are conversations that are taking place as we are talking now. Congressman Meeks, we thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you for having me.